nothing fancy nothing, nothing by the book by the book it's very basic yeah, honestly it's very very basic it's just pack on calories pack on calories what is a 20 year old state champion eat for power lifting because when i was 21 forget power lifting i was 21 i was eating shit bro i was like you know i i used to pack on chips because we with friends we by the way after my vein we pack on a lot of food so after you vein, vein right? yeah but uh, that is a strategic move strategic. right you you need we, 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 we i want to talk about that in detail but you know so i wasn't competing anything you are very serious and focused you want to do not just you know like you know just doing that because you have the power mm-hmm. no but you are following it properly so i was all about you know junk and you know beers and all that so you do, do you consume alcohol do you no, drink no, not, at all? No, not at all not at all so no parties no nothing Party parties without alcohol parties, parties without, without alcohol, alcohol. No, yeah i understand <laughs> that's me <laughs> right now but when i was 2021 i obviously used to binge on a lot of shit like it was all junk so this happened once common so one. what is your routine like during so, competition and off season off season it's usually off late i started interning uh, in jan right. uh, in june so right. in june so due to the internship i'm getting a little less sleep at night i sleep about 6 to 8 hours you can say but i have to be heavy on my dinner so that i get okay sleep immediately so right. heavy food will just put me off yeah i did just training heavy food just lazy just feeling and then you just go down yeah. so it's very basic yeah. there's there's high protein obviously you need protein yeah. there are sufficient cover there's a lot of rice lot of fruit comes in hmm. pre workout i'll just have a sandwich or some dough side whatever is available in form of carbs yeah. nothing fancy nothing, nothing buy the book buy the book it's very basic yeah, honestly it's very very basic it's just pack on calories pack on calories have sufficient carbohydrates people there's a norm that you shouldn't have carbohydrates but, but I, I everybody think, has their own yeah choice, depends so. so so you plus you are a vegetarian yeah but of late i plan to start on eggs so start on what eggs eggs, eggs, eggs. Yeah. oh i'm glad i thought you were going to say i'm going to turn vegan oh uh-huh. nice eggs that is that is the gateway and then you will be like chicken nice and then like bacon oh. i was i used to eat chicken <laughs> off late right. i don't vegetarian but now i feel i need eggs so yeah, it sure, makes things yeah. easier for me now i'll see you you know kp me while, while leaving with him will be like pack tray and tray of eggs and doge tray uth ke that's pretty so so yeah so, so uh, run us through your diet like on and off season so what's so your so usually morning there's a fruit serving with some dry fruit and yeah. protein shake probably right. then noon time there's some paneer this is the vegetarian diet right. that, uh, there's some paneer in there and there's another fruit serving and probably some rice right to help me out then i come home i'll have my pre workout meal in that there'll, there'll be, be a sandwich or whatever. sandwich or anything fruit banana uh, yeah one banana and uh, high caffeine caffeine high comes caffeine. in there that's the game changer some salt also so, sometimes i'll pinch on okay. if i'm feeling a little depleted i'll have regular table salt that yeah just have. one pinch like okay. very little okay and then hit my otherwise do you try to stay away from salt excess salt no 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 nothing no, nothing okay nothing just normal right. never focused salt as mm. salt and night i'll come back and night i'll have a lot of food so there's a lot of paneer there's a lot of rice along with roti mm. so a lot of food basically close to around 800 900 calories in one meal i just have it at night okay so tell me something so the way you are eating and the way most of the bodybuilders or not just professional bodybuilders the people who want to have that aesthetic look like trying to lose fat and all so tell me something have you noticed because you are so high on carbs but i i think you're burning all of it because what does your body roughly, tell you roughly, like are yeah. you so it depends it's all a game of calories over here so yeah because I your goal isn't right to maintain a deficit or something right nothing, nothing, you, you nothing. have ref- i think you should prefer to stay in surplus right you surplus have. yeah so surplus about maintenance so you're striking maintenance in june probably okay. now i'll move into a surplus for okay. a brief period right so i maintain uh, my maintenance calories are about 2200 to 2400 really yeah yeah 2400 how, how much do you weigh 73 73.5 73 so, yeah it must be around 25 or 20 2400 right and, right 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 so that's it because uh, the number is a little less hmm. so you see because it's a sitting job all day and i'm yeah. just sitting and ta 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 yeah. <laughs> so the rut <laughs> yeah so and you it. just started you're just interning like <laughs> yeah so i'm just sitting all day and it's a 8 to 5 kind of a sitting job all day i take breaks and move hmm. around there but majority of the part i'm on my pc i'm just working so right so that's why the maintenance drops in i was mm. maintaining at 3k at one time but okay. that time i was swimming for one and a half hour 
I was training three hours a day. Oh, you must be born like hell. And I was uh, very active. Right. Full day, I was moving this, that, this, hmm. that. So, but this came down. So, how does this routine change when you're just say a month away from your competition? Nothing. Nothing. It's, everything is same. The okay. training sessions are a little more uh, challenging, and I just try to stay happier because okay. a happy environment helps you lift uh, even better. Oh, nice. So, so tell, tell me happy, about it. Like, what, what, be, so what do you practice? Like, I just, do you tell yourself to be happy, yeah, or do you surround yourself? I with? just don't focus on things that are uh, that will just put me low or put me on a low. So even if my boss is telling me complete this, complete that, I'm like, I'll try, sir. Who are the who? Who are the who? Honestly, that's. <laughs> I give it my best, but I don't take stress about it. That if I don't do it, what will happen? Or ah, that, that, I won't be able to make my good approach, yeah. So nothing. Then I sleep well. I just increase my time to eight hours. So, and then the training sessions become intense. Okay. So we peak. We peak really well. Right. So we push ourselves hard. We just try to churn those PRs. The added five mm-hmm. kilos, two point whatever you get, it's right. all welcome. Nice. And then one week out of the competition, you just relax. The things that you do outside the gym matter more. Yeah. That time. That's what my coach keeps on telling me. That okay. Whatever you do outside the gym, there are training sessions, but it's very light. It's yeah. So you do full body circuits. I think yeah, I've seen yeah, you full do body full body circuits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just come here, practice the movements, mm. go home, take a sauna, probably take a massage. Yeah, right. You just sleep one day before then we go out the rain, and after your rain, eat like a dog. Right after you must be treating hog, yourself. Hog. <laughs> so I was lucky enough in my district and states to get a twelve. For states, I got a twelve hour weigh, and I weighed, weighed in the evening six pm. Right. The next morning, my competition was there, and for the districts, I got a a twenty four hour weigh. Okay. That's a luxury for a lifter. Oh, all right. So you can binge. Yeah, I can binge. Okay. So the paper dosas and the so mithai. So what if shit goes wrong? What if you mess something up? So by eating a lot. So I'm we, sure that helps in your lifts. Yeah. 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 So. The food that I eat is I'm very choosy. I'll not include lactose, gluten, anything, mm. and I'll have some papaya, pineapple for digestion support. And okay. I'll ensure that. Right. Priority is my dairy, how I feel. Dairy as in. Dairy no, is lactose. Out. Oh, yeah, dairy is lactose. Out. All right, Completely all right. out. So there's so rice, no yogurt, no paneer, no nothing. There's mithai also. I have to be very choosy. I can get kaju roll or I can get kaju. <laughs> I can't get anything else. Okay. <laughs> and then anything French fries, a lot of French fries, a lot of chips, a lot of. Everything that is lactose and gluten free. That is in your twenty four hour weigh in window. Yeah, oh, I you there's no twenty four hour weigh in. But you were lucky here. enough to get. I was lucky enough because they were a little confused whether they will be able to hold my category on the same day or not. Okay. So they took my weigh and they were like, right. "We'll let you know by evening if it's mm. happening or not. Otherwise, you can go home and come tomorrow." Right. So they had to give the I don't know what unka tha. They uh. just completed the sixty six the category below me. Right. Seventy four was nice. Right. I'm, like, oh, I'm gonna have a feast today. Right. That even chilled me out. Well, I'm sure it gives you, uh, you know, hormonally it gives you that feel so good you, factor, you right? So you actually add up on a kilo or something. I'm, I'm sure. So from 73, sure. I weighed and I was 74 or okay. next morning. Right. Nice. It's a good feeling. So one kilo more and you're confident. But I, you don't get that luxury in the nationals. The nationals it was quite strict. Right. So I weighed in 7 a.m. in the morning and 9 a.m. was my coach. So oh. two hours to fill yourself with warm ups. Right. So we don't eat much that time. 